Hi, I'm Matt Stein and I'm a community engineer with Cloud Foundry. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to scale an application on Cloud Foundry and how quickly it happens. We'll start with a very basic Sinatra application. This application will respond to all requests to slash by saying automatically routed to this instance running on port and then tell us what port the instance is listening on. As it turns out, each instance of our application is on a different port because it's running inside of a Warden container. Warden is a component of Cloud Foundry that provides a simple API for managing isolated environments. These isolated environments, or containers, can be limited in terms of CPU usage, memory usage, disk usage, and network access. So if you're familiar with the Linux containers or the LXC project, then you have a pretty good idea of what Warden is doing. In fact, they both use the same Linux kernel primitives to achieve their goals, which is namely slicing up a single set of kernel resources into namespaces. Now this happens rather quickly, far faster than we could spin up an actual virtual machine for the instance itself. So now let's go ahead and push the application to Cloud Foundry. So we'll accomplish this with CF, which is Cloud Foundry's command line interface. So first we will CF push the application. Now notice that it's using the manifest file, manifest.yaml, so let's take a quick look at that file to see what we have there. So you'll notice that it gives the application a name, a memory constraint, number of instances, we're starting out with one, a URL, and so forth. So we'll jump back down now to our command prompt, and we will accept the defaults for most of these. We'll choose cfapps.io for our domain. See now that the URL is being bound to the application, the code's being uploaded, and then Cloud Foundry notices that we're deploying a Sinatra application and kicks off the Ruby build pack. Now build packs are new to Cloud Foundry version 2. If you're familiar with Heroku build packs, they're quite similar. They're fantastic in that they allow any Cloud Foundry user to add support for any application runtime that they choose and we'll likely highlight build packs in a later cast. So our application is now staging and we see that it is now starting up and our application is now up and running. So now that we've seen that let's go take a look at the browser and we'll go to scaledemo.cfapps.io and we see that we are automatically routed to port 627 94. Now if we refresh this page several times, you'll see that we're continuing to be routed to the same port because we have only one instance of the application running. So now let's go ahead and scale up. We'll do this again with CF and this time we'll type CF scale and CF responds by asking us how many instances that we need. So let's go ahead and start with 10 and we'll keep our memory requirements intact and so CF says, okay, I've done the scaling. So let's go ahead and, and use another command, CF health, which will go out to the health monitor and check to see how healthy our application is. And we see that our health status is in fact already okay. We can also run CF instances to actually get a look at each of our application instances. And we see that instance 98765 are all running, go back up to the page we see that several more are actually running. So let's go ahead now and uh, test these out in the browser. And so now if we start refreshing, we'll see that the port number is continually changing because the router is actually now using round robin to utilize all of our instances. Now the question is, is how did this happen so quickly? Well the secret is in the message-based communication within the Cloud Foundry system. The warden containers we previously mentioned are managed by the execution agent. Once a given instance starts successfully, it broadcasts its readiness to receive requests over what's called NATS, which is a lightweight pub sub and distributed queuing messaging system and is the backbone for communication between the CF components. The router listens for these messages and upon receipt immediately begins routing traffic to the application instance. So, Given that warden containers are super fast to start up, they immediately broadcast their readiness to serve requests, and that the router automatically routes requests upon receiving the broadcast, our application is able to almost immediately scale out over the desired number of instances. 
So let's go ahead and put this speed to the test and we will bring back up our command prompt here and try to go for let's say 100 instances. So that will be an order of magnitude more. Let's go ahead and do another CF scale. We'll type in 100. Again, keep our memory requirements intact. And again, we've been told that our scaling request has been accepted. So let's go back and take a look at our health. Now we'll take a little bit longer, obviously, to spin these up. So we're at 92% health. Now what that means is that 92% of the instances that we've asked to be spun up are actually responding, and the other ones are in some unready state. Let's go ahead and do another health check. We're at 96% now. If we take a look at our actual list of instances, We can go back through these and we can see that most of these are running. A couple of them are still starting up, it seems. Go ahead and do one more health check. And we see that we are now at 100% health. Let's go back over the browser and just kind of go ahead and give a test. And we can see that, again, the ports are changing, although I'm not seeing any repeats at this point. And very, very quickly we were able to go from 1 to 10 to 100 instances of a single application running on Cloud Foundry. Now, of course, we can scale that back down. So let's go ahead and type in CF scale, and we will go down to now one instance of the application. Again, keep our memory requirements intact. We'll go ahead and do a CF health check. And we're running, do CF instances. We see we are at only one instance running, so we can go back over here. And again, we see only one port running. And that's Cloud Foundry scaling, so thanks for watching, and look for more episodes soon.